Prince Harry and Meghan Markle underestimated the backlash they received from the Duke's tell-all memoir spare which is why they have likely maintained their silence ever since, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex starred in their own six-part documentary series on Netflix, which saw them vent their frustration at life in the royal family. Harry then appeared in a number of television interviews before Spare was released, which saw him take several swipes at members of his own family. It saw the Sussexes on the end of a huge backlash from many. They have largely remained publicly silent since the release of Spear and have only been pictured together on a few occasions. Royal author Pauline McLaren, professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University in London, believes the backlash they received following Spear has led to their radio silence. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry retreating over fears words will be twisted she told Daily Express US, they probably underestimated the backlash, particularly towards Harry's book. People read that and although it was a bestseller, it didn't really promote him to any heights in terms of people giving him accolades I would imagine all of that would have shocked them but one would presume they have retreated. They have probably retreated to the point that anything they say will get criticized and twisted. Professor McLaren has also urged the Sussexes to make a change in direction after the furor from their claims against the royal family triggered a defining moment. Prince Harry and Meghan give rare update on Archie and Lilibet in new video, video, Harry and Meghan fed up with divorce rumors as insider sets record straight comments, Princess Charlotte's cute nickname she uses at school so she can blend in, latest, last month, the couple suffered a blow when their £15 million deal with Spotify was mutually ended. They still have their bumper, multi-year deal with Netflix, with Harry's own Heart of Invictus documentary due for release this month. But with reports the couple are now taking different career paths. Many experts have been left wondering where the progress from here. Professor McLaren said, the whole furor around the Netflix documentary but particularly Harry's memoir, I see that as a more defining moment. At least the Netflix documentary was about them whereas Spare was really about Harry. I feel they are taking stock now and what we see possibly emerging would be going back to their core brand values where Harry, because he has clearly become this individual brand through Spare, that he is going on with his Heart of Invictus series. That is very positive because that is going back to what Harry is good at. It is something very consistent with their idea of being a humanitarian brand, the Archul connection. That now needs to be emphasized. There could be surprises from Meghan, people have talked about her possibly developing a lifestyle brand, but she needs to develop a more definite image than she has at the moment. It wouldn't surprise me if she went back to acting or something she is known to have done and to be quite good at. Going back to the core brand values would seem to make sense and going forward more as individuals with the common interests on Archul would seem to make sense. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan were all smiles as they gave their millions of fans a rare update on their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. The Sussexes said their children are incredibly grateful to a group of young leaders who have been chosen in the inaugural cohort of the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund, RTIPF, which is designed to help those working within the Responsible Technology Movement. Speaking to the surprised youngsters over the phone, Harry said, Thank you for doing everything that you do, our kids especially are incredibly grateful. A laughing Megan sitting next to her husband on a garden seat in the garden of their Montecito home. Added, they don't know it yet, but they will. Meanwhile, it has been confirmed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will fly to Germany to attend the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, 
which will run from September 9 to 16. Meghan will moderate a very emotional farewell show for families and competitors on the final day, while Harry will give the closing speech, according to German newspaper, Rheinische Post. Melting